I've just finished putting the whole computer together and I've run Crystal Disk Mark against my four different drives that I've got attached. Let's show some examples of, uh, first of all, I've got a, an old 7200 RPM um, drive uh, similar to this one. HGST is a really dependable brand. Um, it's, it's not this one. This one's a little bit faster than the one I've got in the computer. Um, Crystal Disk Bench, uh, Crystal, Crystal Disk Mark pulled back a 50 or 49 megaseconds score. That's not that impressive nowadays, um, but it's good enough for longer term storage. Um, these kind of drives are pretty dependable. So, next, uh, I went to test. Um, I had a USB 3 um, SD card connected. So I decided, heck, let's see if Crystal Disk Mark will actually show what the stats on that are. And here we are looking at um, almost double the performance of the mechanical hard drive. I was a little bit surprised at this. This is a 10 SD. Uh, you'll notice the little 10 in the left corner, the lower left corner of the picture there. Um, so it's the fastest SDs that I, I know of right now. The next thing that I tested, um, let's actually, I, I graphed both of these together just to kind of make it easier to see the comparison between the two. Uh, now, obviously, um, if you were to RAID 7200 RPM drives together, you could double or triple or quadruple that speed depending on how many drives you put together. But this is a good place to start. Next, I went in and benchmarked the solid state drive. I've had it for a couple of years. It looks, um, it's similar to this guy uh, on Newegg. And the uh, stats that I got back were about 460 meg per second. Also, the 4K read write um, are getting pretty high there. I like to see those stats. Here's it graphed against the other two. Um, this 460 is actually getting pretty close to maxing out the serial ATA connection that this and the 7200 RPM drive are connected, that technology. So the next thing, the new addition to my hardware um, storage wise is I went and tried an M.2. Um, I grabbed one of these Samsung um, half a terabyte drives. Let me show you the stats on this. So we're going from 460. I got read speeds of 1900. Uh, 4K again about double. Um, I'm going to throw those into the into a graph to make it pretty easy to see. So the SD drive, um, we're, we're going about four uh, times the speed of the serial ATA connected SD SSD drive. Um, now, I am excited about this. It, it, it's helping games load faster. Um, it's making the computer boot time quicker. I put the operating system on this M.2. It's pretty sweet. There are some even faster options, which is really fun. So the ASUS board that I bought comes with um, a free version of ASUS RAM cache. So I figured, let's play with the volatile me memory. RAM cache is actually kind of what it sounds like. It's using part of the RAM, if you've got enough, to um, set up a drive so that uh, you can um, temporarily write to it and then when you're not working, uh, uh, when you're not doing disk I.O., it r repeats that write to the, the drive. And so you actually get really fast writes, especially, um, as long as you don't lose power in between. And also, if you're caching the games that you want to play or whatever performance stuff you want to do in that cache drive, you can get that read performance, too. So let's look and see how that... mark. I 
I actually got almost 9,000 megabytes. Uh, let's just round up there. 9,800 um, megabytes per second reads um, and five digit writes to that RAM cache. Uh, the 4K reads and writes, obviously, they're uh, um, huge there, triple digit. Uh, anyway, I was very impressed. I had to graph that to, to show it against the other ones. So this is what that looks like. Um, obviously, uh, I'm <laughs> great performance. Um, if you guys, if anybody wants to see the um, how to set up the RAM cache, I love to. The interface is actually pretty easy. This is what it looks like. Um, and you can stop and start that if you want to use all of your RAM. I've got 32 gig, uh, so I didn't, well, I didn't really need all of it. But uh, there are free versions that don't come from ASUS um, as well. For example, Soft Perfect, I believe it is, um, uh, that makes uh, RAM soft. And uh, I, if anybody wants details about that, give me a uh, comment. Um, I'll do a tutorial on that. Thanks like if you want to want me to make some more videos like this and uh, subscribe. Thank you.